The art of pottery was first developed in Cyprus during prehistoric times and constitutes one of the richest and most representative branches of ancient Cypriot art. The extent of this development can be seen in the variety of shape and size of the vessels, the techniques used and the wealth of motifs with which the vessels are adorned. Situated at the crossroads of many civilizations, Cyprus has always been the recipient of significant external influences which are subsequently assimilated, with artisans creating their own items of pottery at renowned centres such as Fini, Kornos, Famagusta and Labithos. The village of Fini, on the southern slopes of the Trodos Mountains, developed a distinct pottery tradition, the roots of which are lost in the depths of time. This art served as a profitable profession for a large number of local residents. The finding, collection and transportation of the raw material, both to Fini as well as to the neighbouring villages of Caminaria and Dios Dimitrios, was until recently done by both the men and the women of the village. Before kneading the clay, the earth was pounded in order to get rid of any lumps, after which it was also passed through a sieve. In days of old, the women would make items used for transporting and storing agricultural products. In the last century, however, the art of pottery evolved and has since been preserved as a home industry. The village was particularly known for its huge clay vessels, the pitharia. These would be made primarily by the men of the village, the pitharaes as they were known, who during the summer months would travel to the island's wine-producing villages to make their vessels, marking them with their name and date of manufacture. The village of Kornos has managed to preserve the tradition of pottery unchanged to this day. The reputation of its vessels, particularly that of the locally manufactured Pitharia, was known in Europe since as far back as 1394. Italian clergyman Giovanni Maritti, in a text written in 1772 in which he chronicles a prior visit to Cyprus in 1769, mentions Gornos as a Pithari manufacturing centre. The ancient art of pottery continues to this day as a home industry by the six last women of the village who still use the traditional wheel. The village of Gornos remains to this day the only village of Cyprus in which use is made of the traditional kiln for the baking of the vessels. The traditional pottery of these villages, along with the pottery art of occupied Famagusta and Labithos, all constitute a significant element in our cultural heritage, which today is diligently and proudly pursued by many young pottery artists of our country. Mm -hmm.